Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Jable Moonstar, and today I bring you guys a Shaders Mod installation tutorial for Mac. Now if you're using Windows, be sure to check the link below for a separate video. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the links in the description below. Download all three files. Once you have downloaded the files, drag them onto your desktop. So once you've downloaded all three files, open up your Minecraft launcher and once your Minecraft launcher is open, select new profile and change the used version to release 1.7.5, save profile and launch the game. Now once the game has boot up, you guys can close it. So for the very next step, you want to open up your Optifine installer first. Once it's open, hit install and then hit OK. Now once you've done that, open up the Shaders Mod installer, hit yes and then hit OK. Now once you've done that, you basically have both mods installed but we still have to install the shader packs. So to install shader packs, go to the top left, select go and then hit go to folder. Copy and paste this in, I'll put this in the description below. Hit go. And once you're in your Minecraft folder, you right click, create a new folder and call it Shader Packs. Now once you've done that, drag your Shader Pack into the Shader Packs folder, and there you go. Now what I advise doing is dragging your Minecraft folder onto your favourites, so if you guys ever need to access your Minecraft folder, it will be in your favourites. So for the very final step, make sure you have your Minecraft launcher open, go to your profile and select 1.7.5 Optifine Shaders Mod, Select that and hit play. And once your Minecraft is launched, go to any Minecraft world. And once you log in, as you can see, this is our Minecraft world, but there is no shaders mod. So what you have to do is go to your options, shaders, and select your shader pack. Hit done. And once you've done that, here it is. We have shaders mod and we have Optifine. So if this video did help you guys out, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys are using Windows, be sure to check the link in the description below for a separate video on how to install Shaders Mod for Windows. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon for another video.